Sorry, had to get that demon out of me. What's going on guys and welcome to another Reputized video. The Nun, starring Demian Bacar, Tessa Farmega, and Jonas Bloquet. It's all about a priest and a novice going to investigate the death of a young nun in Romania. Now the, the priest and the novice was sent by the Vatican because they wanted to, they want to keep all this under control. While in their, on their journey, they get pursued by this demon that looks like a nun. And it's really, really creepy, guys. This makes the fifth entry in the Conjuring universe. I gotta say, it was, it was pretty decent. You know, I thought this one was a little better than Animal Creation. You know, to be honest. The jump scares was fair. You know, they didn't do it over the top. You know, some of the jump scares was actually kind of how they used to do in the old school. What I mean by that is the music and the jump sounds that goes with the jump scares. That kind of ruins the movie a little bit. Now, I still jump. But, you know, it's not really necessary. But there's a couple scenes in this movie where, this, where the jump scares was just like somebody appearing back behind from one of the characters or somebody tapping them on the shoulder. Kind of like how they did in the original Halloween with uh, the cop and Dr. Loomis. The lighting in it, it just had that creepy af atmosphere. So did the music. The, there was a certain instrument they used that went like this. That's, that's the kind of music that they would use every time the nun would actually show up. And I thought that was a real good touch. The nun herself looked amazing. It didn't look like they used too many special effects, but just a little. And it was mostly makeup from what I could tell. Prosthetics. But some of the scenes I could tell that they used special effects. But they didn't cake it on, that's for sure. The story was pre pretty straightforward. You get to find out a little more of a backstory on how the evil of this entity appeared. Which is apparently, they, they put in as a subplot, which I won't, I won't ruin it for you guys or anything. But it, they, they put it in as a subplot. And I thought it was pretty interesting. The direction by Corn Hardy was just amazing. I hadn't really heard much of this guy, but he's he's one of those guys that knows how to actually put the fear in you. Like I said, it, it's a great movie to go see if you want to get scared. You know, the pacing was just perfect. Granted, I mean, there was some parts in it that was a little slow, but all in all, it, it fit just perfectly for a movie like this. The characters was great. I mean, there was a couple of scenes in there where the dialogue was a little out there. One nun was just so hysterical that the acting in it kind of threw me off. It's like she was trying a little too hard. But, you know, that's something I could forgive because there was only one scene. The nun gets a B plus. It's still a good movie if you like The Conjuring and Annabelle. My review of Peppermint will be out real soon. Now I have it up for you as soon as I can, guys. Hope you like this video. Like, subscribe, and get ready, guys. Peace to rip out.